Hello everybody and welcome to part 11 of our machine learning tutorial series. In this video we're going to be building on the last one which is where we learned how to calculate the R squared value or the coefficient of determination value. And this value is the it's the value of how good of a fit is our best fit line. Okay, so that is the equation. Now, how do we actually go about calculating it? So a big part of this equation is actually squared error. So we're gonna create a new function that calculates squared error. So we're just gonna, I'll just add it down here. And so this will be define squared error. And the squared error is uh, the difference between the y's original or a ridge we'll say and the y's line so recall that squared error is the distance between whatever line is in question and the points it's the the amount of y distance um, that's the error and then we square that error so um, so we need the the actual points and the actual spot on the y line so that is that. So then what we're going to say is the, um, let's actually here, what we need to do is return the sum of the, let's see, sum of the y's line minus the y's original ridge, okay, squared. So that, that would be your squared error for the entire, uh, the entire line. And in, you know, this, this equation is relatively um, simple, but I want to give it a function of squared error just so it's, I, I think it's a little easier to call upon, but um, feel free to, <laughs> to do what you want. But of course, <clears throat> you can get the original data points by just Y's original. And then you can get the line because we know what MX and B, or I mean, well, we know what MX and B are, but we got M and B already here. So we would just plug in um, MX and B to get the Y line of any Y original point. So anyway, um, in our case, that's all we are plotting since we created our regression line only using the X's for X in X's. Anyways. Uh, so that's our squared error. Now we need to calculate coefficient of determination, which again is just one minus the squared error of the y hat line divided by the squared error of the uh, mean of the y's. So we can calculate that. Define coefficient of determination. That's y's ridge. And then y's line. That should be a comma. We calculate that by saying the y mean line equals the mean of, actually, what we need to do is brackets. Um, this is mean y's ridge for y in y's ridge. So that'll make our y mean line. That's just, it's just, it will make a, a single value and each value is just the mean of y for every y that we have in the original line. So that's our y mean line. Squared error of the regression line is equal to, um, I'm just going to copy and paste rather than typing this out. So copy that, paste. And then we're going to say the squared error y mean equals squared error y's original and then instead of uh, y's line it's the y mean line and then finally we just return one minus uh, and then that would be one minus the squared error of the regression line divided by the squared error of the mean line right one minus squared error of regression divided by the squared error of the mean line so there's our coefficient of determination. So now all we would have to do is we might say something like, um, we might come down, I don't know, here. We could say R squared, or you could call it coefficient of determination, equals coefficient of determination. And then you might have something like this, Y's regression line. 
So that's the y's original. That's the line we're curious about. And we want to know the r squared value of that regression line. So we could print r squared. Save and run it. And the value we get here is 0 0.58. So uh, just as a note, if the regression line was, if the it, let's say the regression line is as good as the y mean, then our value here would be zero, right? It'd be one minus basically a whole number, one, right? Um, so, you know, anything, you know, like you can't just say anything above 50% is more accurate. Anything above zero means the regression line was more accurate. Now you kind of have to make your own determination of what kind of coefficient of determination line you're looking for. In this case, um, we get 0.58, which is obviously, it's significantly more accurate because you know to get 0.58, the equation would have to be 0.42. So to be 0.42, that would be uh, basically like 42 out of 100. So the squared error is much less, right? So anyways, squared error and coefficient of determination is not the only calculation of how accurate a best fit line is, but it is a calculation of um, how good of a fit the best fit line is. So in the next tutorial, what we're going to do is build some sample data or and test our everything we've got so far, all our algorithm and all that, because there's a lot of math that's involved here. It's basic math, but it's a lot of math involved, and we need to have some sort of way to figure out if everything is right. Like 0.58, something could be totally wrong here. We wouldn't really have any way to figure out how it's wrong other than maybe doing it by hand or something like that. So in the next tutorial, we're going to be talking about testing all of our assumptions and sample data and stuff like that. If you have questions, comments, leave them below. Otherwise, till next time.